you know what, I tried to grow a beard, but I ended up growing a, another homeless man in Hoboken. <laughs> I'm serious, I did this for the, the parade tomorrow, you know, but I guess I uh, just wanted to be an Irish homeless guy. I go to the park with my two uh, darling little girls. They're cute. They are cute. And some parents go, God, will you look at those two gorgeous little girls? What are they doing with that homeless man? I was thinking, you know what, I just start homeless daycare. We're never busy. We always got the time, and we'll bathe your kids as long as we get to bathe too. When I was a kid, homeless homeless people used to ask for like, you know, hey man, can you spare a dime? I almost got enough for a taco. Just sit down. That's all I need. Now, you know, well, not maybe not now, but a little while back, I was like, hey man. Can you spare five dollars? It's cold. It's cold, man. You know what? I'm trying to save up for some uh, some uh, uh, thermal underwear because I lost my pecker, man. It just it just sucked right out of my body. I lost it. You know what? I mean, look, look. It looks like I got a little chipmunk down there. But now. Times are tough, you know. People aren't giving money to bums, you know. Especially if you live in Hoboken with the taxes. I mean, who's running this town? Is it Bernard Madoff? That's my current event show. He made off with the money. I got another current event joke, and I don't do current event jokes because I don't read. But they're making a big deal out of Obama. Because he uses his Blackberry and teleprompters all the time. He always has it with him. Well, you know what? He also carries a big black wiener with him, too. You know? So just, you know. It's no big deal. It curves a little to the left. But those Republicans are trying to pull it over to the right. I just went on vacation with the San Diego, went to my favorite Mexican restaurant. Uh, it was gorgeous. I had my margarita on the rocks with salt, sitting there with my wife, and then the mariachi band came to the table. And everything was great. Until the big creepy mariachi singer started serenading my wife in Spanish. Now, I don't know much Spanish. I mean, I know, you know a couple things like, caliente? No caliente. <laughs> or, uh, Yo quiero dinero, you piece of gringo! <laughs> that... <laughs> anyway, so he, as he's singing, as he's looking at my wife, this is what I think he's saying. Ay, 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 ay. I love your wife's titties. I want to touch her hiney. <laughs> But I was reminded how cool the pigeons are in San Diego compared to the pigeons here. <laughs> pigeons are famous. You know, I was going down the beach, pigeons see me coming, you know? They're like, whoa, dude! Dude, you look different, brother. Dude, don't expect me to eat any spare change, man. Dude, you wanna hit some of this shit, man? <laughs> I was like, no, don't worry, man. You're going surfing, I'll get out of the way. Here in Hoboken, pigeons see you coming. They're like, oh, shit, Tony, check out this motherfucker. You think I'm going to move, bitch? I'm going to play some pigeon with your ass. I pause are as popular today as bell bottoms and plaid pants were in 1975. Everyone wears them. But some of you guys that listen to music and walk down the street and you like to sing out loud, you guys gotta be careful. Because you can scare people. I was walking down the street on the way home from work the other night, 
And all of a sudden, I hear from behind me, stick them up, bitch! I'm gonna kill your ass after you lick my balls! And I was like, no, please, God, I wanna lick your balls! He was a 14-year-old kid listening to hip hop. I was like, do you, man? I'm not gonna spare any change, buddy. Anyway, that's all I got. That's all the time I got. Thank you very much.